how's everyone doing today? Hope you guys are having a great gardening season. It's already September. How did that happen? I don't know how the time went by so fast. But anyways, I hope your gardens are producing for you well. You're canning and preserving everything for the winter months. Anyways, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, give it a thumbs up and give it a share around. I just want to do a little quick walk through through the carport greenhouse. I haven't done this for a while. It's been producing really well this year. Um, I'm really happy on how it's been uh, faring up for my second season. Um, I don't think I've ever really told you guys how big it is. It's 10 feet by 20 feet long. And it's a good amount of space. Actually, it might be less than 10 feet. Can't remember, but it's roughly 10 feet or so by 20 feet long. And I got it for free. And like I said, it's the second season with it. But let's take a walk inside here and take a look on how it's going. So on this side, actually I'll show you on the outside first. I did cucumbers this year again on the inside. Last year they produced really well. This year they've all died off, which I'm kind of sad about because I got so many cucumbers last year. I got enough for pickling cucumbers this year, so I got enough to do some pickles. But it looks like this is still coming back a bit. Still growing some cucumbers here. Mind you, that one looks kind of rotten here. But I should water these guys and hopefully we get some more. But they've just all died off. Last year they were sprawling all the way out here. It was unreal. And I got this side roll up to keep the cool air flowing in on a hot day. And I'll go through the forest here. It's just unreal. But yeah, you can see all the cucumber plants are just died right off. I might get a few. They're still flowering at the top here. But I got some kind of blight or fungus on them this year. I'm not sure what happened. Got a big flowering lettuce. I should cut that off and take it home and save the seed for it. Over here, I planted a whole bunch of basil in here as well. Just along the side because I had the room. And you can tell I haven't had time to weed all this stuff. But another lettuce plant flowering. But over here, second year I've done my tomatoes in this row here. And they are flourishing so much. It's unbelievable. Last year they got tons of blight and they died off. But this year they're super healthy. I haven't watered them a whole lot. But let's take a look at some of the ones I'm doing here. I got some uh, paste tomatoes. I think these ones are called Poza. P-O-Z-Z-A. First year trying them and they're looking really good. And this plant is loaded. Looking really good and there's more on that side ripening up. And I'll probably close the door too today because it's a bit cooler. The temperature's dropped. Got some nice tomatoes here. I think these are the yellow sunrise bumblebee ones. They're a really nice tomato for some trying those. And as we come along here, I've got, these are a sweet million. First time doing those and those are beautiful tomatoes too. There's one down here ripened up, really tasty. Nice and sweet, really happy about those. That's a bunch more, man. I haven't seen so many tomatoes on my plants in years. And they usually don't ripen up until like end of September. Or... So I'm really happy. Here's some more. Some more down here. Check out these ones. I gotta pick these ones today. Here's another sweet million. I think these are the sunrise bumblebees. I can't remember. I've planted a few. I think these might be gold nuggets. Here's some more here we can pick. Look at that nice vibrant colors. Unbelievable. And just check out this, how loaded these are. They're like eight to 12 tomatoes per cluster. Look at this one here. It's gonna be unreal. Looking so good. I've been coming out almost every day to pick because every day they keep brightening up, getting so many tomatoes. There's a nice one here as well. I'm not sure what kind that is. I did some called Crimson Cushion this year and they seem to be kind of smaller. They're supposed to be a pretty big beef steak tomato. They seem to be kind of small. I haven't really grown as big as I was hoping. And we'll check out this side here quickly as well. Oh yeah, Brad's Atomic Grape. I've had a love-hate relationship with these tomatoes for the past few years. They have never ripened up on me. They always probably get about this stage, maybe a little less but they're ripening up nicely. Look at the color on those. Beautiful and a nice kind of sweet tomato. So much more down in there. And I haven't had time to stake them all up properly. I was at the start of the season and then 
you know how it goes. I didn't get enough time to finish steak and everything and they got heavy with tomatoes and they've all fallen over. But let's check out these clusters in here. Here's the sweet million again. Lots in there. More in here that I got a pick of a, another variety. As we come down here, so many, it's unbelievable. I'm gonna have to pick a whole bunch of can of a lot of these guys. So that's the tomatoes, really. So that's the tomatoes, really happy with those. I brought atomic grape, they're still growing here. I've got more over here as well. And here's those paste tomatoes from this side here. You can see in there, come along nicely. All right, so this side here, I've got my peppers this year. This is the first year I've actually had peppers that are growing. They usually don't form much till end of the season and then they don't get much. But here we go, we got, this bush is loaded. There's three of them on here. I think this one was called the Purple Beauty or Chocolate Beauty. Um, so you can see the nice color there. I think it might be the Chocolate Beauty ones because it's starting to go kind of chocolatey color. I picked a Purple Beauty the other day, which was amazing. There's some more here, I'm not sure which one that is. This plant here is loaded. This guy has one, two, three, four. They're not forming very big, but there's four of them at least. This one has so many sets coming on, so many. And this plant here, I think I saw some, I feel heavy. Oh, here we go. I think that's the chocolate beauty as well there. Two on there, coming down the line here. This one's got two peppers. Oh poking out. Oh, chili one. Look at this. Those are going to probably be red chili peppers. Wasn't sure. I uh, had a whole bunch of random plants I wasn't sure what labeled properly. Down here we've got two more and three more in this bunch. Looking so good. Happy to have peppers. And this one hasn't produced anything. But coming down here. Oh, look at this one. It's a good sized pepper here. So yeah. The peppers are doing well, and here's another one. This looks like it's probably going to be a hot pepper plant, but uh, all the buds on it, hopefully it produces. And down here we have some more. I think this might be Purple Beauty as well, but it's kind of tiny. But we have one other one here called Yes to Yellow. First year growing these ones. They're a different shaped tomato, or different shaped pepper. Really excited to try these ones out. And this one's loaded as well. Wow, there's three on that one. And I've got one down here as well. With this one has like four or five. So they're looking awesome. Really happy with that. I put some dill in here as well. It's past its prime, I gotta pick it. And I have some more cucumber plants over here. But as you can tell, they've all died off as well. But this one here, it's got one big plant. One big cucumber. I'm just gonna leave this here and probably try saving the seed from that one. And there we have it. So I'm really happy with this carport greenhouse. There's not a whole lot of cons to it. Um, a lot of people I've heard have heard that it's fallen over the winter time or too much snow, it's caved in. But I put some rope up last year to help with the snow load and it was fine as long as you're brushing it off every time it snows and as well, I got it staked at every, almost every other pole there. I've got stakes at the end here. And we've had some pretty big windstorms and it's held up really well. And the plastic is holding up. It's supposed to last for about four years. It's a six snow plastic. I can't complain. It's been doing amazing. I'm happy with it. I would highly recommend one if you guys have one because I can extend my season and get lots of extra goodies in here. So I hope you guys enjoy that quick little tour of the carport greenhouse. Um, since I haven't done one really this year, I uh, hope you're having a great garden season and we'll see you out there. Have a great day. Happy gardening.